Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kai Kalan for all you guys who don't know. And for y'all who do, that means y'all been keeping up with me, okay? Period. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for me. All my social medias is gonna be right here for y'all. Y'all know I don't play about that, baby. Go follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. What else I got? Twitter. I'm not even about to hold y'all up. I got my food, I got my drink. Let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Putting y'all up on game as I always do. You know that's what I'm here for. If I'm not here for nothing else. Okay, hold on. I need a bite. Mm -mm. Today I'm about to be telling y'all five ways on how to spot a fake friend. A friend that wanna be low key. A friend that got hidden animosity, okay? So I'm not only gonna be doing that, I'm gonna be doing five ways how you know you got a real one on your hands. Okay, number one. How you know you got a fake friend is when she or he don't never repost none of your stuff. Like, they swear they support you. They swear they your number one fan. But they don't repost nothing that you're doing. Like, you post a cute picture, crickets. Baby, you supposed to be the first one commenting, liking, reposting. Baby, get it up there. That's how you know. Because a real friend want to make sure that everything that you do goes up. You know you got a fake friend if you got to ask her. Ask him or her to repost your stuff. That's supposed to be a giving. Baby, you're a hater. Number two. How you know? Hold on. I got cute for nothing. Lip gloss all over the bottom. How you know you got a fake ass friend on your hands is when you feel like anytime you do something, they're in competition with you. They're competing with you. Anytime you tell her your friend some good news, it's never no congratulations. It's always... Oh, but you know, I did this and I did that. Say, you be like, oh, um, I just got this raise at my job. Oh girl, me too. Yeah, I got this raise and it's like 13 hours an hour. You said yours was 12, right? Like, Dean, can I get a congratulations first? I'm gonna pat on my back? Girl, it's giving very much secretly wanna be me. I can understand if y'all congratulate each other, but she ain't even congratulating you. She's just jumping right to what she's doing. It's getting very much draining. Draining. Throw the whole friendship away. Because it's not real. Y'all like my girl? Because it's not real. It's not. Number okay. three. You know you have a fake friend on your hands when y'all are going out somewhere and she lets you look crazy. Especially when she sees that you don't even like your fit. When you like, mm, I don't know, like, girl, did it say you look right? When she could tell that you don't like your fit and she not like, oh girl, what size are you in shirts? Let me see what I got. Let me see what I brought. Let me see what I, we could do. Let me see what we could work up. That ain't your real friend. She ain't. She's using you at that. She's using you to be the ugly friend, I'm telling you. She's really only your friend. So when y'all go out, she stands out. All the attention is on her. That's not a real friend at all. Throw the whole friendship away, slam duck, baby. <laughs> That's not your friend, and I promise you that. A real friend is gonna make sure that y'all match each other fly. I need some more love, girl. Period. The fourth way you know that that girl or that nigga ain't your friend, zoom in on me. When you start doing better for yourself, you start elevating, you start growing and becoming a better person, and they wanna keep reminding you who you used to be. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, what? You know, you start making more money. Girl, you ain't used to do this. Girl, this wasn't even you like a year ago. When you started to act, like, when you started doing this. Like, trying to be funny. You know, trying to be nonchalant about it. But really, they're hating on you. Because why you want me to be the past me so bad? I'm trying to elevate, girl. That's what you need to be doing. <laughs> John, come on here soon, eat too. Firehouse needs to sponsor me ASAP. Because a, a real friend is congratulating you 24 hours of the day. Stop reminding me who I used to be. I'm not her no more. Okay? My last tip on knowing if that girl 
really don't like you for real. That girl just keeping you around for the wrong reasons and you need to go ahead and get her out your life. She's bad energy. If your mother don't like her. If your mom don't like her or if your mom say something like, is that how she really act? Or like, I don't think you should be friends with her. Like just showing you that this girl is obviously putting out off red flags to people on the outside looking in. You're so gassed up on a friendship, you don't even really want to see what's going on. It's hard to see what's going on when it's happening to you, baby. So I'm telling you, let your mama tell you. Listen to your mama. I done hung around so many fake girls, like, I done had my fair share. Now, let's get to the ways that you know you got a real deal, holy feel friend on your hands. That's your girl, that's your right or die, that's your right hand, whatever you want to call her. Yes, it's it's keeper. Stay down for you. Number one, you know you got a real friend on your hands when they buy you something or anything like that and they don't expect anything back. Like, you be like, y'all be at the store, they buy you something, and you like, oh, I got you, you know, I'm gonna pay you back to that. And they be like, girl, shut, girl, shut up. You know we straight, you know I got you, you know? And it's just vibes like that, where it's just like, it's a give and take relationship, so they don't mind doing stuff for you. I got one of those. Mmm. Mmm. You know you got a real deal, holy fail friend on your hands, when they keep it a buck with you all the time. When they keep it a buck with you when you're not on your stuff. When you're not doing what you're supposed to do, when you're not meeting them goals that you said you was gonna meet. You get what I'm saying? They're not gonna be the type of friend that just that lets you just fall back and start BSing. They gonna pick you back up when you're not where you're supposed to be. You know you got a real friend, girl. Girl, me and my best friend, this the one for us right here. You know you got a real friend on your hands when you argue with the person. You know in the back of your head like, it's whatever. She gonna get over it. He gonna get over it. It's not even that big of a deal. Like, y'all mad, but it's like, it's ain't the end of the world. Y'all ain't about to take it to social media, nothing. It's just something that y'all happen, and then y'all both know that, whatever. She just in her feelings, but she'll be okay. It's like arguing with your sister. You can never stop being sisters. So when you argue, it's just like, <laughs> that's how you know you had a real friend. Cause nothing's that big of a deal to end job friendship. Okay. This is number four. You know your friend is really down for you like that. This friendship is about to last forever when y'all could be y'all complete selves around each other. It's never like embarrassing. You could tell this friend the most deepest embarrassing. Like you wouldn't even say this to nobody. You wouldn't even say this out loud, but just say it to your best friend. You'll say to her, and no shame, no nothing. Y'all cool, she ain't gonna judge you. Y'all might laugh about it, and that's just that. You, when you completely comfortable, it's no embarrassment ever. And lastly, my fifth tip. You know this girl is forever, or this boy is forever, when they go out their way to support you. And when they go out their way for everything big in your, in your life, or any goal that you have. They go out their way to make sure they're at any big event, at any pop-up shop for your business, at any graduation. They're just there and you can always count on them to be there. They're for sure your number one supporter. They're for sure making it their business to support you how they will support themselves. That's how you know you had a real friend. Oh my God, I probably never get a boyfriend. They probably watch the video like, drink to eat like that. Hey, seeing girls, try you like this. Girl, what you gonna do with that nibble? Girl, if you don't take you a real big boy bite, that's how you get all of the flavors in one bite. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope I helped y'all start realizing that some of the friends that y'all got right now is putting up these red flags. I love y'all so much, and I hope I did what I said I was gonna do, put y'all up on game. Please like, comment, and subscribe for me. Um, share, keep watching my videos, keep showing me support, and you know, rock with me, okay? Love y'all. Oh, my social media needs to be right here. Love y'all, bye.